Hey everyone! You know, with all the latest innovations coming out in the AI space, sometimes it's a little hard to get running on your hardware, you know, bigger VRAM requirements, etc. And so I wanted to find a solution that's kind of good for everyone, how to remote in, something that's easy to use, you know, media art driven. And I think I found it. It's called Mimic PC. And today we're going to walk through how to quickly get going, how to get into Comfy and other AI tools, some quick tips and tricks as usual, and some pros and cons of using the service. As always, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. We're actually almost at 5,000 subscribers now, so please feel free to keep sharing with all your friends. And otherwise, let's get to it. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the website. It's mimicpc.com. And when you go there, you're going to want to click this free launch button in the top right corner. And when you go there, you're going to be presented with a whole bunch of apps. But first, just to make sure you get started on the right foot, on the left-hand side, you have a balance area where you add additional credits. Uh, if you need additional storage space, you start with about 50 gigs, uh, but you can change it as well uh, and upgrade your account. And in both cases, it's very, very simple. You can basically just add a balance and then you're all set there. On storage, it tells you how much storage you have used. And then you can add additional space by hitting the upgrade button. You can specify how much uh, space you need. You know, if you're thinking about Flux in general, right, the models are between 11 and 22 gigs a piece. So even though you have 50 gigs to start, it does go pretty quickly. So just something to keep in mind. Also, a quick hot tip, uh, because you're going to be using your time during sessions, the recommendation is to do any of your uploading, whether there are custom nodes to get things ready, or if you're using a custom uh, model to use the file storage area, uh, which once you set up your first session, you can click on that session, and then you have your entire web structure over here on the right-hand side where you can then uh, upload additional files, etc. So you basically, for a new model, you'd go to model checkpoint or model unit, and then you would just hit the upload button. The upload speed is a little bit slow, so just take that into consideration. And that's why I also recommend doing all of your uploads beforehand before you get into a session so you don't uh, waste valuable session time. You're going to go to this add new app area. And in this area, you have every single AI app available pretty much. If you're doing LoRa training with FluxGym and then you want to jump into Comfy or you want to go into AudioCraft, it's very, very quick to jump between all these different apps. And we don't have nearly enough time to jump through every single one. So we're going to jump into Comfy just to show you what it looks like. But you can see what's really great about this tool is it's super simple in terms of the interface. So you can basically scan through, find the app that you want to use, then you hit get started, and then what kind of uh, hardware, what kind of video card you want to be able to use, because again, you're doing this online, as well as your session time, and if you want it automatically extended. I like to actually not have it auto extend. I'll give it a certain period of time, and it'll warn you when you get close, so you can extend that time if you want. In this case, uh, we're going to choose our hardware. So for Flux, right, obviously this is going to take a lot of hardware, as we know. And as of right now, the biggest video card that they have available is the L40. In my test, it, it's kind of almost like a little bit faster than a 4090. So from that perspective, it's great. Um, it is a little bit pricey on the kind of dedicated area, though uh, many times that bargain area, which is a shared uh, video card experience, is open. For 99 cents, it's actually pretty uh, affordable. It's a little bit more expensive than a run pod, but at the same time, the interface is by far uh, very, very easy to use, much easier to use than run pod. So if I was to get started here, uh, I'm basically I'm gonna start it off with a session timer of 30 minutes. I will start myself on the ultra here and I'll use the bargain and then I will hit start. And what you'll see is it's going to start a session. You have your files over here on the right-hand side. If you haven't already uploaded stuff, you could. But I find this is actually much quicker than Rod and Pod. And you can actually run off and do other things and multitask while this is getting set up because a notification will appear with a sound from your browser to say that the session is ready. Okay, there we go. And you can see we get a nice little notification in the bottom right corner. And all of a sudden we have our session set up. So that's great. You can actually collapse this file area 
very quickly and there you go you have comfy in its full entirety ready for you to use now some cool things along the top just to be aware you can extend your time of your session which is great you can stop it right away you can also load your uh, local workflows as well now one thing as a caveat to be aware of sometimes the uh, custom nodes are not updated in this environment so you will have to update those custom nodes so that's also why you'll want to pre-upload your custom nodes into your custom nodes folder instead of, uh, and let me just show you where that's at, right? So you have your custom nodes folder, upload them here before you start the session because otherwise you're using valuable session time to uploading uh, custom nodes, which you do not want to be uh, wasting that money. So also, which is really cool, you have these linked tutorials here, which brings you directly into uh, your company environment. So like, for example, if you want to do LTX, which came out recently to start doing videos, it actually walks through exactly how to set this up, which is really cool. And, you know, with a simple click, you can get this set up right away. In fact, if you see, if I hit operate here, it will let me start a session right away to, to get that started here. Now, as you saw, I was in a uh, different session a second ago, so you will want to kill that other session. So if I here hit create and start here, right, I have my new session starting, but you'll want to go back here to your kind of main window, right? If I go here into, again, my area here, if I go into my apps, you can see some things are running and some things are not. So here's my LTX session that's getting set up. And here was my Comfy UI session I have second ago. So you do want to make sure that you're not running multiple things at the same time because that's going to burn through your minutes a lot quicker. So in this case, I'm going to cancel that session uh, while we are waiting for our existing session to set up. So you can see even with just a quick click, I have the entire LTX set up without any real hard work here to set things up manually. In fact, without even doing anything, if I just decide to run this, Okay, and there you go. You've got your animation here with no setup at all. It's already ready set up for you to go. And it's nice to have templates that are ready, but again, this is comfy, so you can totally make it the way that is most valuable for you. Once you're done with your session, of course, you can hit stop to get back to your kind of main area. You can save these settings for the future, right? This is gonna sit in your My Apps area. And if I jump back to the My Apps area, right? This is where I have my own session set up. You can see I have audio craft right here that could pop right in. Um, but the cool thing just also to know is you can go in this discover workflows area and it has all the newest sort of hot workflows all ready for you to, to run and go, right? You have the clothing transfer, you have flux item replacement and more. If I searched for, you know, video, for example, and I wanted to start playing with the, the Honyun video, which just literally came out, it's already ready for you to go and already configured as well. So really, really powerful system overall. Definitely recommend it overall. As always, thank you so much for liking and sharing and subscribing with everyone. And otherwise, we'll talk soon.